okay uh, this is a very important uh, today's topic um, based on how to design uh, single phase transformer and three phase transformer now in which we have to need important formulas to design single phase transformer as well as three phase transformer okay now first is emp equation that is e is equal to 4.44 f mp this is very important equation to find up emf induced in single phase transformer and Three phase transformer. Also, voltage per turn equation that is E T is equal to 4.44 F higher. Then also area of copper for window one and area of copper for win window two is very important. That is A C is equal to T P T P E P plus E S A S. Then A C is equal to two for window two. Then into bracket T P into E P plus Yes into yes. Now, area of primary and secondary conductor. So, this is very important. That is, AP is equal to IP upon sigma for primary winding, and ES is equal to IS upon sigma for secondary winding. Okay. Also, next formula is window space factor. That is, KW is equal to AC upon AW. AC means area of copper window upon area of window. Then KV rating of single phase transform and KV rating of three phase transform. This KV is equal to VP into IP into 10 to minus 3. We have to consider primary wind. Okay. Then KV is equal to 3 into VP into IP into 10 to minus 3. KV rating of three phase transformer. This is for primary wind. Okay. Then also Output equation of the core type transformer for window one. Okay. Then single phase core type transformer that is Q is equal to 2.22 F5 AW AW sigma into 10 raised to minus 3. Okay. This is output equation for single phase core type transformer window one. Then same output equation for single phase cell type transformer window one is same equation as it is for single phase cell type transformer it is q is equal to 2.22 f m k w a w sigma into 10 raised to minus c this is the important output equation for single phase core type transformer we have to consider window one for core type transformer and cell type transformer also in which we have to need output equation for three phase transformer. Okay. Then output equation for three phase transformer is Q is equal to 3.33 FIM KW AW sigma into 10 raised to minus 3. This is the output equation for three phase core type transformer. Because we are in which three phase transformer consists of two windows. Then this is the output equation for Three phase co type transformer. Then Q is equal to 6.66 FIM KW AW sigma into 10 raised to minus 3. That is output equation for three phase cell type transformer because it consists of six window. And we have to consider for one window output equation because this one window output equation is always similar to remaining five window of the three phase cell type transformer. Then next formula is maximum flux that is phi m is equal to bm into ai that is bm means maximum flux density into net iron area then next formula is stacking factor this stacking factor is equal to ai upon ai but in which we have to consider the value of ks is consider is 0 0.9 for single phase transformer and three phase transformer this is the very important for formulas to need to find out the solution of single phase transformer and three phase transformer. Then also core section area. Then core section area in your syllabus need square core transformer and cruciform two step core. That is first is square core in which find out first is AI is equal to 0 0.45 D square. Then AGI is equal to 0.5 D square. Okay. 
Now this is the net iron area of the square core and gross iron area of the square. That is easier. Then in which the we have to calculate the value of A is equal to 0 0.71 B. Then cruciform two step code. Second type is cruciform two step code. Then in which net iron area is A I is equal to 0 0.56 D square and A G I is equal to 0 0.618 D square. Then also value of A is A is equal to 0 0.85 D and B is equal to 0 0.5 D. These are the very important formulas for four sections and their area with respect to A I and A J. This also this formula is very important to solve in the problem of single phase and three phase transfer. Then next problem is based on window that is area of window. Then area of window is equal to height of window into width of window. Then rearrange equation for height of window is equal to area of window upon width of window and width of window is equal to area upon area of window upon height of window. Then next formula is design of yoke. Yoke is equal to Ay is equal to dy into h then in design of main dimension that is for single phase transform that is d is equal to d plus width of window d means distance between two adjacent limb and d means diameter of circumscribing circle then ww means width of window then depth of yoke is equal to a means width of that's its time. Then W is equal to D plus A. Then total overall height of the transformer is H is equal to HW plus twice HY. H means HW means width of transformer. Then height of U or height of window. It is also called as height of window. Then overall height of the transformer. And this is the overall width of transformer is equal to distance between Two adjacent limb plus a means width of largest type. This is the four important formula to design single phase transformer based on this four parameter. Also, same formula is for three phase transformer. D is equal to D plus width of window. Then D y is equal to A. Then W is equal to twice D plus A. But main difference is in single phase transform it consists of only one window and three phase transform it consists of two windows that is 2D. This is the 2D because it consists of two windows. Okay. And then it is equal to height of window plus twice h1. This is the four important formulas for three phase transform. Now also in uh, design of transformer in which we have to require low voltage winding design and high voltage winding design okay go to the low voltage winding design now go to the low voltage winding design. okay now in low voltage winding design the formula of the low voltage winding design is number of turns per phase is equal to phase voltage of low voltage winding upon emf per turn that means Number of turns in low voltage winding that is TLV is equal to voltage phase voltage in low voltage winding upon EMF per turn. But EMF per turn is K into root Q. Q means K varying of the transformer and K means constant of the transformer. Okay. Now also in which to find out current in low voltage winding. Then that means we should find out current in low voltage winding that is kva rating of the transformer or single phase this kva is equal to v into i into 10 raise to minus then we have to consider low voltage winding that is vlv that is low voltage winding voltage then low voltage winding current that is ilv into 10 raise to minus 3 this is for single phase transformer then rearrange equation for 
लो वोल्टेज वाइंडिंग करंट दैट इज आई एल बी इज इक्वल टू के वी अपॉन बी एल वी इनपुट एंड रेस्ट टू माइनस 3 एंड दिस इज द दैट टेंडर टू माइनस गो टू द अपर साइड एंड टेकन एज अ पॉजिटिव दैट इज आई एल बी इज इक्वल टू के वी इनपुट एंड रेस्ट टू 3 अपॉन बी एल दिस इज द लो वोल्टेज वाइंडिंग करंट फॉर सिंगल फेज ट्रांसफार्मर देन आल्सो थ्री फेज ट्रांसफार्मर सेम फॉर्मूला दैट इज के वी इज इक्वल टू के वी इज इक्वल टू 3 इनटू p into i into 10 raise to minus 3 then then 3 into that is low voltage winding voltage into i l p into 10 raise to minus now rearrange equation for i l v that is i l v is equal to k v a into 10 raise to 3 upon 3 into v a this is the formula of low voltage winding current in three phase transformer okay also in which the area of low voltage winding is very important then and this area is depends on this formula that is area of primary conductor a p is equal to i p upon sigma for similar secondary winding as is equal to is upon c c this two formula is are similar for primary and secondary winding of the transformer then we have to consider low voltage winding this alv is equal to ilv upon sigma lv this is the formula of low voltage winding area of conduct that is alv is equal to ilv upon sigma a these are the very important formula for design low voltage winding in single phase transformer and three phase transformer in single phase transformer this kv rating used for single phase transformer and three phase transformer this is the kv rating of three phase transformer this is the low voltage winding design of the single phase transformer and three phase transformer now we are going to the high voltage winding of the transformer then this is the high voltage winding design then in which the formula of the high voltage winding is number of turns per phase of high voltage winding that means t h v that is high voltage winding turns is equal to low voltage winding turns into high voltage winding voltage upon low voltage winding voltage. that means the ratio of t h v upon t l v is equal to v h v upon v l that means t2 upon t1 is equal to v2 upon v1 that means one indicates for primary winding that is one means low voltage winding one means low voltage winding and two means high voltage this is the formula of high voltage winding turns but in high voltage winding of the design using tapping and tapping always provided on high voltage side because depends on load and depends on their ratio also in which the number of turns using high voltage side that is called as tapping and also this tapping depends on percentage rate and this percentage rate can be increased with respect to turns is 1.05 for high voltage winding that means t2 is equal to that means two indicates for high voltage winding then t2 is equal to 1.0.5 point 
फाइव इंटू दैट मीन्स नंबर ऑफ इनक्रीज टर्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वन जीरो फाइव टर्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू हाई वोल्टेज वाइट दिस इज द हाई वोल्टेज वाइट इन डिजाइन इन सिंगल फेज ट्रांसफॉर्मर एंड थ्री फेज ट्रांसफॉर्मर विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टैपिंग ओके नाउ इन विच वे आर टू नीड फाइंड आउट द करंट इन हाई वोल्टेज Now, then find current in high voltage winding. This is for single phase transformer. And this is for three phase transformer. Then K V is equal to V into I n raised to minus three. Then we have to find out high voltage winding voltage that is V H V, and high voltage winding current is I H V. Then Rearrange equation for I H V is equal to K V upon V H V into ten raised to minus three. Then rearrange equation for I H V is K V into ten raised to three upon V H V. That means this ten raised to minus three this goes to the upper side and taken as a positive. That is I H V is equal to K V into ten raised to three upon V H V. This is a high voltage winding current for Single phase transformer. Then go to the three phase transformer. That is, I H V is equal to K V A into ten raised to three upon three into V H V. This is the formula of high voltage winding current for three phase transformer. Then same procedure for high voltage winding area. That is, A P is equal to I P upon sigma and Yes is equal to I S upon sigma. This is for primary winding. This is for secondary winding. Then this is high voltage winding. That is A two is equal to A two is equal to I two upon sigma. This is the formula. A two that is two means high voltage winding for. Which is equal to we have to consider two. I mean, LV winding for consider one. This is the formula is very important to solve the problem based on single phase transformer and three phase transformer. Okay. Now 